Hello, everybody. Corbin here from Zoco Marketing, where we teach you the technical side of digital marketing. If that kind of stuff interests you, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here. Uh, if you're a returning visitor, welcome back. Today, we are going to be talking about Google Optimize, and specifically, we're going to be talking about uh, Google Optimize uh, web personalization tests. Now, for those who aren't familiar with Google Optimize, um, inside of Google Optimize, you can run basically four different tests. You have the A-B test, you have a multivariant test, a redirect test, and a web personalization test. So um, I'm going to be talking specifically in this video, the web personalization part. This video assumes that you already have the Google Optimize uh, script set up on your website and everything is fine correctly. Um, if you want a walkthrough on how to do that, I will have a little thing up here in the top right hand corner or down below on instructions on how to get Google Optimize set up from the very beginning, as well as links to other tests. If you want to run another, another test like um, the A-B test, multivariant, redirect, all those different things, links down below. But specifically, we're going to be talking about web personalization, which is why you probably clicked on this video. So we're going to jump right in all the details. I'm going to give you a kind of a real life situation on how I'm going to um, run this personalization. And the first step is to obviously be inside of Google Optimize and have your container set up. We're going to hit let's go right here. And as I mentioned, there's these different options for running an A-B test. And we're going to be going with this personalization option. Um, I'm going to call this uh, TikTok link in bio. Um, so the reason why I'm calling it this name, and this is the page that I want to run it to. So notice how I'm not putting in my homepage or I'm actually putting in the page that I want to run traffic to. Here's the situation. Here's what I'm, I'm looking to do. And I'm going to explain this from the beginning so that you understand where my mindset is coming from. And then I'll show you how to implement something like this and then other options that you can do for web personalization. So um, I have a TikTok account um, over here and uh, shameless plug. Don't forget to go follow me on TikTok if uh, you if you are on TikTok. Um, so Zoco Marketing. And inside of here, if you click on this link in my bio, let this load up. We open this up. Um, I, I talk a lot about the same things I talk about here on YouTube, just short, short little snack size, so to speak, um, uh, digital marketing tips. And I talk about a lot of free resources that I have. And when I click, when somebody comes to this link and clicks on this free resources right here, you'll notice the UTM parameter that shows up once this loads, give it just a second. And of course it's loading and loading. Um, if you're watching this video, you guys are all great. And we're just filling in some time here. Okay, so um, up in the top right, top URL, you can see that I've put a UTM parameter on here. So UTM source equals TikTok and UTM medium equals bio link and UTM campaign equals TikTok bio. Now, um, I'm not gonna get into how to create a UTM parameter in this video. There are lots of videos on how to create a UTM parameter, but um, uh, just know that these are, these are links that you can create if you're not familiar with what a UTM parameter is. So I have this link, every time somebody clicks that, that uh, the, the link in my bio, it gets, they, they see this UTM parameter and it takes them to this free resources page where I give completely free resources. You don't even need an email as you can see here. Um, you, you can give me your email if you want, but I, I don't require it to download these checklists. We shop light, shop by checklist, Facebook ads, templates, um, different things. Another shameless plug, go check out this page. It's got some really good things on there. Um, now, <clears throat> the reason why this is powerful is because now I know whenever somebody clicks this link, they're coming directly from TikTok. So now I can take this page and actually start creating wording that um, relates to people who are coming from that. So maybe I say, hey, TikTok uh, people or whatever it may be. You get the kind of the idea. So now I'm gonna uh, show you how to actually implement something like that. So we're back over here. There's, I've typed in my free resources page. I've given it a name and we're gonna do personalization. So next we're gonna go to create. And now if you watch the other video on how to set up an A-B test or a redirect test, it's very similar. So we're gonna go into here to website changes. And we're actually going to edit the page so that when somebody clicks on that link, they see a personalized message from, uh, because I know that they're coming from TikTok. Whereas if somebody came from an organic search or a direct search, they wouldn't see something like this. So um, for this example, free resources, and I'm gonna make it kind of sound like it's an exclusive thing for TikTok users. So we're gonna edit this HTML. Free, tic free resources for my TikTok TikTok followers. 
and then hit apply here. Now, this is a very simple case, but as you can imagine, the, 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 the use cases for this are essentially endless and, and it's, it's up to your creativity to kind of figure out how to personalize these messages and do whatever you want. But for this case, I'm just going to say free resources for my TikTok followers so that when people come here, that they know that they think that this is a very specialized thing because I follow uh, Zoco Marketing on TikTok. So um, now that we have that in there, the simple edit, and you can go through and make all sorts of different edits inside of here. Like we could change the color if we wanted to on this form. You could change the text. You can make different CTAs, um, whatever it may be. Like I said, I cover a lot of that more in my um, my my video on A-B testing and redirect test if you want to actually know the functionality of uh, like editing elements inside of here. But for this one, we're just gonna talk strictly about the personalization. So that's done. What we need to do it now is go over here to save. Hit done. It's gonna take us back to the optimized platform. And it's loading, 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 uh, loading. Okay. And so we have our site changes. We have the page targeting, so we only want it to fire on the free resources, free resources page. Now, if you had a use case where you wanted this to fire throughout your whole site or on like a, a few different websites or a few different pages on your site, you can come in here to edit and you could uh, fill out these URL roles. So you could do it by your host, your page path, um, URL fragment, and then you could do matches, contains, equals, starts with, and then these different, um, uh, the, the, the URL that is in there. And you can even check the roles here. This is a nice little feature to make sure that what you're doing is firing. For mine, I'm keeping it simple and just running with the one URL. Now, audience targeting. So this is where the power of the personalization comes into play. So uh, for this case, as I mentioned, I'm gonna be targeting based on a UTM parameter, but so you're aware of the different options that you have, I'm gonna go through um, some of these different, all, all of these um, very common ones. And then you have the advanced ones down here. I'm not gonna be going through those because um, chances are if you're getting to the advanced ones, you probably have an idea of what you're already doing. And for most people, they won't be diving into those different aspects. So the first one is, uh, Google ads account. So this one and UTM parameter are probably the two most common ones that I use. Uh, you, so if you're running Google ads, you can start creating specific messaging when somebody comes from any of these different resources. So you, uh, like your campaign, you could have the account, um, inside of here. Uh, so you could target by specific campaign, the ad group, or even the keyword level inside of Google AdWords. So very powerful um, tool that you can use if you're running Google ads. This is probably the, the most common one that I use for this web personalization. So if you, especially if you're trying to improve your quality score or click or your, your conversion rate, a great tool. UTM parameter. Now for us, uh, this, this is where, what we're gonna be using. Like I said, so the UTM parameter for this campaign equals, and then we put in this value. So as you recall, if we come over to this UTM, our campaign equals TikTok bio, I think by yeah, just TikTok bio right there. So we cop, copy that guy and then we go back over to here and then we click this um, UTM campaign equals TikTok bio. Now you could do campaign or uh, oh, it has to be campaign. So you, you have to have the campaign link. It can't be source or medium. You want it to be the exact campaign inside of there. So we're going to do TikTok bio, add that. And it's as simple, it's as, simple as that for the targeting. Now, uh, let me go back over here so I can talk, walk, talk through some of these other targeting options. Oh, it saved that. Let me edit this and put that in the trash. The things, things we do. So we're going to go back here so I can go through the rest of these. Now, um, some of the other options that you have is device categories. So say that you had an experience that you only want to show on mobile or on desktop, you could do the device category, mobile desktop, all those different options. The next one is uh, behavior. So you could do people who are coming back from, who have visited your website or going back. Time since last arrival was, you know, 30 days, 40 days. Maybe you have like some sort of upsell or downsell. You could go through and uh, test these different things. So page refer, time since last arrival, less than uh, blank seconds or whatever it may be. And then the next one is geography. So if you wanted, if you had a website that's targeting uh, maybe in the United States and somewhere else, and maybe only in that certain area, you offer, offer free shipping, you could go through and uh, create, create a personalization for if people come from this place, then they see this shipping option. And then the last one is technology. So different browser categories that you could go through operating systems, all the different values. So if they're on Chrome, Firefox, Edge, uh, you could go and make personalized tests for each of those options. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the things that you can do. Like I said, it's kind of up to your creativity on, on how you want to implement these tests or different ways. Um, for this option, we're going to do UTM parameter. So I'm going to go back here, excuse me, and set this up back real quick. Add that. 
So next we need to go and connect our Google Analytics account. So we're gonna hit um, in here. We're gonna grab, this is the view that I want. You want to make sure that this is checked, view your reports in Optimize and anal uh, Analytics. Hit done there. So now that the data is being shared between the two and it can pull in your goals and other things that are associated with your analytics account. The last thing is to check this installation here to make sure that the tag and everything is firing correctly. So we'll wait for this to load. And there we have it. So no major issues were detected inside of the page. So we're gonna hit back here, back to experience. Um, if you do get an error or something like that, just make sure you read to learn more. Most common is that the, the optimized tag isn't firing on the site. So sometimes maybe you forgot to add it or the code is implemented incorrectly. So make sure you read those instructions on side of there or go watch my video on how to install the, the tag. Okay, so now that that installation is good, you can set up a page notification or email notification if you'd like, and you can also um, uh, activation event. I would leave that just on page load. We scroll back up and then we hit save here and then start personalization. Okay, so now that this is live, um, we can go and test it. Now, chances are, if you are testing it just in your same um, browser, when you go in to put in the UTM, you're you're gonna be cookied in, so you're not gonna see the personalization experience because you saw the, the original one first. Let's see if this works real quick. If not, we'll go into a new incognito browser. Oh, there it is. So campaign equals TikTok bio. Just know if this doesn't work for you the first time, I would open up a new incognito browser and test the UTM parameter inside of there. So as you can see, that worked as planned. So, it, but if we go to um, just the resources and I'm a user coming from, you know, paid search or from organic or direct or whatever it may be. And I come inside of here, then I will see the different experience unless I'm cookied and I see the TikTok follower thing again. Yeah. So I'm cookied. But if I go in here to a new incognito browser and then, uh, click that, wait for this to load. As you can see there, there's the free resources. So, so that is everything I have for today. Don't forget to check out the other videos if you wanna learn how to do redirect tests or any of the other tests. I'll link those down below and around here somewhere and we'll see you in the next video.